Hello and welcome to Skill Drain High, Hardleg Gaming's guide to advanced rules and concepts in Yu-Gi-Oh! In today's episode, I'll be explaining problem-solving card text, in particular, the importance of punctuation. Problem-solving card text, or PSCT for short, was a change instituted in 2011 which standardized card text, making it more technical, but allowing players to more easily determine how effects resolved. The most important aspect of PSCT for newcomers to learn is how punctuation marks are used to show condition, activation, cost, and effect. The most basic punctuation mark, a period, serves little purpose in PSCT except to show where one effect ends and another begins. For example, the monster card Marauding Captain says, Your opponent cannot target face-up warrior-type monsters for attack except this one, period. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level 4 lower monster from your hand, period. In this case, the periods show that Marauding Captain has two distinct effects. A continuous effect which prevents other warriors from being attacked, and a trigger effect which can special summon a monster when he is summoned. A much more important punctuation mark is a colon. A colon in card text signifies a condition, which is either something that must happen in order for an effect to be activated, or a limit on how and when an effect can be activated. Any sentence which is followed by a colon is a condition. For example, let's look at Marauding Captain again, specifically his second effect. It reads, when this card is normal summoned, colon, you can special summon one level 4 lower monster from your hand. In this case, normal summoning Marauding Captain is what you must do in order to gain the effect of special summoning a monster from your hand. Everything before the colon is the condition, and everything after the colon is the effect. In addition, a colon also signifies that an effect starts a chain. Now, not all effects that start chains use a colon, but all cards that do use a colon definitely start a chain. For instance, the activation of a spell trap always starts a chain regardless of what's in the text, but a monster effect will only start a chain if there's a colon. Likewise, a continuous spell or trap will always start a chain when it's activated, but using its effect once it's face up may or may not start a chain depending on if there's a colon or not. As a quick example of this, let's look at two cards, both of them continuous traps, Royal Decree and Dark Smog. Dark Smog says, once per turn, colon, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, discard one fiend type monster, and if you do, banish that target. The colon in the text signifies that every time you use the effect of Dark Smog to banish a monster, it creates a chain that your opponent can respond to. Royal Decree, on the other hand, simply states, negate all other trap card effects on the field. The lack of a colon in this case shows that once Royal Decree resolves initially, it no longer creates chains. If you have a Royal Decree face up and your opponent activates a trap, Royal Decree's effect does not activate again to negate the trap, that part of the effect is continuous. In addition to conditions, some cards have cost or require other actions to be taken at activation that are separate from effects. I already explained this a little in Lesson 7 of Dark Hole Elementary, but just as a reminder, here are the basics. Costs are separate from effects. Costs are paid when you activate a card and can't be undone, whereas effects only happen when and if the card resolves. Semicolons are used to show this relationship. Any text written before a semicolon, like a cost, happens when you activate a card, while anything written after the semicolon happens at resolution. For example, let's look at the spell card Dark Core. Its text states, discard one card, then target one face-up monster on the field, semicolon, banish that target. In this case, discarding a card and targeting a face-up monster are both written before the semicolon, so you do both of those actions when you activate the card. This means that 1. If Dark Hole gets negated, you don't get the card you discarded as cost back, and 2. You have to tell your opponent which monster you're trying to banish before they get to decide to respond. If they do respond by chaining something that removes that monster from the field, it'll cause Dark Core's effects to fail since it'll be unable to resolve properly. As an alternative example, let's look at a similar card without a semicolon, Fissure. Fissure states, destroy the one face-up monster your opponent controls that has the lowest attack. Since this card has no semicolon, that means the selection of the monster and its destruction both happen at resolution. 
So if your opponent has two monsters, and in response to your Fissure they chain a trap that removes their lowest attack point monster from the field, Fissure will just destroy their other monster, since it picks the lowest attack point monster that's on the field when it resolves, not when it's activated. Now there are many other important parts of problem solving card text, including new vocabulary that was introduced, and the standardization of conjunctions. These concepts, however, are for another lesson. Punctuation is by far the most essential element of PSCT, and now that you understand it better, you should be able to build and resolve chains much easier. That's it for this lesson of Skill Drain High. Don't forget to like and share if you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like more lessons, you can check out my channel for more and subscribe for updates. Thanks for watching, and have fun dueling.